Hello and welcome to another FS19 how to video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to remove the air brake sounds from this tractor or the compressor sounds at least. I'm going to leave the uh, brake release sound in. It's a sound which has annoyed me for a little while and as someone asked this week on the video how to do it I am going to show you today. I'll also show you how to remove the uh, power shift transmission sound for this tractor at the same time. So the sounds we're getting rid of would be those ones you can hear now, the gear change. the ones we can hear in the background now of the air brake system. Not going to get rid of the uh, release sound when we take a foot off the brakes though. So we'll keep that sound but we'll get rid of the others in there. So we'll go and do that now and then we'll come back in here and see how this sounds. We'll just return this to the shop all these other random air braking sounds could get annoying so we really don't need the gear change on as we're coming down here especially as this is the CV extractor if there's a power shift I'd leave it alone probably even if it does change far too frequently. So back where we started from. So we'll get this saved and we'll move on to the next bit. Okay, so what we're going to do here is the usual using 7-zip, so we just right click on that, go across 7-zip and Extract a case Puma 165 CVX, which I've already done here. So I've got Notepad up and down the bottom here. So get that up. Very, very simple to do this. Let's go into Sounds. Go into the XML here. And you'll see the sounds here. Now the one which causes the most annoyance is this one. That's the one which keeps um, releasing all the time. So if we re remove that one. These three could be left if you want. There is uh, minor sounds from them, nothing major. Brake small is the release when you put your foot on the brakes, but we'll remove these three as well for now. Get rid of them. Now, this is the one we want to leave in. The one we want to remove is this one, which is the gear change. So just cut that out or delete, whichever you prefer. Save that. Just minimize that back up in there go in 7-zip and add to case Puma 165 zip there we go drop that across in the mods folder I'll come up with the usual warning then we should be ready to up the game up again so we'll do that now and then we'll uh, see what we've done. Okay, so we've got a back in game here. We'll try it out on the uh, player and trailer as well, just to check there's no problems there. So hop in here.
So we've still got that brake sound. But nothing else. It's the constant loop of the um, compressor is gone. And so is the gear change. So we've now just got the CVX sounds. So we'll hook up on the trailer first. So you see there's uh, no annoying air brake regeneration in there. <coughs> Just sounds a lot better in my opinion. Sounds how a CVX should sound. Just without the constant air brakes in the background, it sounds a lot better. Sounds how it should be now. Do want air brakes going off all the time? If it's only the odd occasion, it wouldn't be so bad, but when it's on a constant loop, it gets annoying. Something I meant to have a look at for a long while, but until uh, the comment the other day. And got round to it. So pop on that plow now and uh, see what's like there. See, just the release as you put your foot on the brake or take your foot off the brakes is enough. So that is a lot better. So you wouldn't get gear changes doing this, so uh, a lot better. And no air brakes going off continuously as we're ploughing, which they wouldn't do. yet to find a mount of plow with air brakes fitted. So there we go, that is how to remove the air compressor sounds and if required also with this particular track to how to remove the incorrect power shift gear sounds from it. So that is where we'll leave this video. So for now I'll say thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please remember to like and subscribe and I will see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.